Good day, viewers. Welcome to another episode on NAS TV Africa of Hangouts with Young African Entrepreneurs, where we manifest young people in Africa, young people with energy, determination, and creativity to succeed and contribute their own code to the continent. Today, we have in the studio the person of Abraman Elelu, a very young, energetic, determined, creative, and innovative young African that is ready to take Africa to the next level. Funsho, you are welcome to NAS TV Africa. Thank you very much. Yeah, fine. Let's let's go straight to the point. Uh, the viewers out there would like to meet who our young uh, African entrepreneur is today. So can you can you let us into your background? Thank you, sir, for the question. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. My name is Elelu Abraman Funsho, and I'm the chief executive of Funshi Footwear, a made in Nigeria designer in footwear, including slippers, sandals, and shoes, and every other leather works. I started my business about five years ago. Um, there were a lot of you know, activities and unforeseen circumstances that led to the creation of the business. So first, please, let's, let's go back to your education program. Okay. I'm a graduate of aeronautical engineering from Kwara State University wow. 2015, though I had a little delay with accreditation okay. during my service year. And uh, I thought, you know, I told myself I need to create another opportunity rather than sitting down mm. doing nothing. Mm. And uh, back then, I was, you know, people always approached me to ask for what I'm wearing and where okay. I get them. So I was able to, um, I was able to create an opportunity to discover myself okay. out of what people love me wearing. I told myself I was going to start selling foreign-made footwear, but I noticed that, you know, most of these footwear were very expensive. Okay. And as a student, it wasn't easy to network with people. So I, I, I told myself I was going to, you know, come up with a challenge okay. and uh, learn about what it takes to make all these handmade, you know, footwear as seen in Lagos, you know, the international market mm. outside of Nigeria. And I, you know, I told myself I was going to do it. Mm. It wasn't easy at first, but, you know, today I'm thanking yeah, I God for well, the opportunity. So uh, from your response now, I noticed... Is your ambition accidental because of accreditation while waiting? You wanted to do something, or you have only loved to be a cobbler? Uh, I've never had that, you know, I've never had that opportunity to okay. think of a business. I felt like I needed to create more time for aeronautical engineering. I don't oh, need wow. any distractions. Wow. But you know, sometimes they say um, you, you can always bring an opportunity out of a delay, a and delay. that was what I did. Mm. I couldn't afford to get myself foreign oh, okay. footwear and I was, create, I was able so, to create an opportunity. So to right say, there. instead of complaining, you got something to exactly. do. Exactly. And today, it becomes a business. Honestly. Wow. Yeah, so happy now, about that. Uh, what really, really drives you? You know, in the, initially, it was because you wanted to do something. Yes. Okay. But today, you are now fully into it. Then you are doing it, it becomes a brand. And uh, then we would like to know what exactly motivate you now what drives you now that is now getting you sinking into this shoe business uh, i was i was driven by the opportunity to create a myth wow. you know and change people's perception about their love for handcraft wow i noticed a lot of people would prefer to other footwear online mm. foreign designers yeah yet we can do better as nigerians very well so i told myself you know, I don't have to limit myself to what people would say. I just mm. want to, you know, generate opportunity out of nothing. Mm. Though it wasn't easy at first, but I told myself, if other people in Lagos can do it, and do it. I'm able to enter into international market, I can also do it. Yeah. So I was up ah, to the good challenge. Good You hear that? If someone else can do it, of course, you can, can do it. Do it this is what has been the driving factor in uh, Feng Shui Lelu's life. So now, no matter what, there's uh, this fear okay. of young people going to entrepreneurship because of uh, delayed gratification yeah. of not getting the kind of money they really want. Yeah. I'm sure you must have encountered some challenges okay. while uh, doing this business. In fact, I know maybe there will be some times where you even wanted yeah. to give up. Then how did you, what are, what are the facts, what are the things 
they were injuring your progress and how did you overcome them and that, that took you to this level too? Uh, at first, I would say I got a lot of discouragement from family and friends mm. who were questioning me on why I had to stoop so low to, you know, wow. go into that kind of a craft wow. instead of focusing on, you know, aviation uh, industry. Mm. And then I told myself every time I tried to let the discouragement, you know, got into me mm. and I wasn't doing anything, I... I would start feeling depressed. And at some point in time, mm. the only thing I always fall back on is the business. Wow. So I told myself I was not ready to let that thing, you know, stop Die. me from wow. doing what I'm doing. And uh, secondly, it wasn't easy for me starting up a business in a place like Eloran, mm. where the mentality of most of our parents is for you to graduate from the, you know, from higher institution and get mm. a white collar job rather than create your own business. Mm. So I told myself like, there are a lot of people I have seen and read about, you know, who ventured into entrepreneurship and are, they are doing great. Great today. So yeah. I Fantastic. told myself, pending the time the accreditation of my, you know, aviation course will be done, mm. I need to start creating a kind of a balance to see how I can intertwine, you know, business with aviation industry. Like, mm. and I've done it. Mm. Even if the aviation, you know, job is not forthcoming till now, I am still, you know, doing, doing the business. You are living, you are surviving. Program. Yeah. You are paying bills. I'm paying bills. Wow. And at a point in time, I told myself I won't let the discouragement mm. get into me in such a way that, you know, I would, I would drive away from my mission mm. and my dreams. Mm. So I told myself, you know, rather than let that get so much into me, I need to start creating the opportunity of uh, widening my horizon mm. about how to, you know, change the narrative. Change the narrative. And people start believing in hard work. In hard uh, work. Okay, yeah. fantastic. And um, at some point in time, I told myself, I was, I was always learning. Mm. I would leave a learning, go to Lagos okay. to see how it's being done. I okay. would attend events and pay for events. Wow. You know, self-development. Yeah, self-development. I was more into self-development. I, I, I think I really appreciate this. And the, the, the lesson point here is that you don't just sit down out there and think that uh, there's nothing that you can do about your situation. And they don't ever allow anybody to discourage you. There's no job. There's nothing like a dirty job when it comes to creativity and innovation. Fine. Definitely, briefly, okay. what is it that you expect from government? Uh, there are a whole lot African of leaders. African mm -hmm. leaders. African leaders should start thinking out of the box. Wow. If you can decide to create business activities outside of the country, why not bring them here and develop the youth? Mm. The youth have the capacity, they have the opportunity to learn and, mm. you know, transform things tremendously. Mm. Why would we watch documentary and uh, live session about Nigerians abroad who are doing very well, yet we are not, we are not replicating it and mm. replicating the process? So I feel like one of the areas where our government should focus on is developing the youth mm. through business network mm. and not just focusing on um, creating white collage of the people. Mm. Let it be that you can decide to bring even though, it. Even though, as an entrepreneur, the, our job, when they say white collar job, okay. I think uh, by the time you become, uh, very soon you're going to become a conglomerate and uh, people will still seek job from sure. your company. Definitely, and then, yeah, and then this is exactly I've what we expect. We've even been able to create jobs. Fantastic. For so I like that the government should pay attention and they develop the youth and they create business concepts where they have to encourage the youth to use their senses and their Definitely. initiative to create business. And again, it is a very high privilege to be uh, a part of NAS TV today. I can imagine waking up and receiving a message to come and talk about myself on a platform like this. I want to believe that I am doing well and I can do better. So I feel like government should look up to an establishment like NAS TV and support them in discovering the possibility that people can become. Oh, through thank, their you very, thank you very much. Thank you thank so you. much for your So, what's briefly one advice that you have for the youth, African youth? Uh, African youth should take up space. Mm. African youth should step out of their comfort zone and be ready, you know, to take the challenges that the you know the economy you know has affected us with for instance i notice um right now a lot of people are looking for faster ways of generating money mm. and in and when you need to develop the country you have to delay gratification mm. so i want to implore the youth 
to delay gratification and be ready you know, pay their dues. To, to pay their dues. Yeah, that that would really lead to... Thank you very much. The youth out there, according to Funcho Elelu, you should endeavor to pay your dues. You must have sense of uh, delay sense gratification. Of and they said that uh, maybe instead of looking for quick money, try to be a man of value, value. not man of success, according to Albert Einstein, that uh, you should create value. Let people see the value you are adding, then the money will come in folds. And we really appreciate your coming, Funcho Elelu. Thank you so and, much. Uh, Maybe before I go, finally, okay. I don't want it to escape me. What's your plan for the future? Briefly. Um, my, one of my greatest plans for the future is to create an avenue where people, like a, like a, a training academy, mm. where people all over the country and outside of the country can come to learn and discover what it takes you know, to, to create opportunities Opportunity. via leather works because oh. the, 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 the possibilities are just so endless okay. and it's not something I alone can do. I have to work in a team to achieve Yeah, that. like, yeah, I get your point. Thank you, thank, thank you very much. Like, uh, there's a place in Eloni, they call it Alao, and uh, they, where they make leathers and uh, unfortunately, maybe they used to eat it as mama. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? So it's high time yeah, we, change we change our, our thinking from that. consuming our, you understand, the leather. To yeah, turn it to something like great, just like they are doing in Kano and uh, other countries, and it is a very good one. We appreciate your coming. Thank you and so uh, the Nas TV Africa is a platform, it's an online platform. We are online mentorship platform where we mentor the youth on uh, entrepreneurship, leadership, emotional intelligence, street smartness, and so on and so forth. So it's our own way of encouraging young Africans very in impressive. order to take this uh, continent to the next level. That we are blessed with the 1.3 billion people out of uh, just 54 countries, countries yes, wow. so it's enormous it's enormous and a big market and we really appreciate your coming and we look forward to see you next time this is how we call it today uh nas tv africa and online mentorship platform where we manifest africa's greatness can you subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, follow us on our instagram twitter and the facebook page